As a re whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Will you like to start that again? <laughs> oh god, I started reading right away, anyway. Uh, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. Dead is dead. What? Me, the Jarrow Claw. I guess we're not starting that again. And me, aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. A representative from the Klingon Empire has agreed to meet you uh, with Meryl Paris. Yeah, you should know that name. On reg Regulus 4, Lieutenant Paris is believed to, uh, by some Klingons, to be the Kalvamar, a saviour figure. I'm assuming that's what it means, or that's what it says. That may or may not be the case, but if that means that the Klingons are willing to talk peace with the Starfleet, with the Star... Oh. We'll take the opportunity to do so. We need your... to oversee the security of that meeting. We are having an intelligence that's there are Klingons who are against the, any sort of treaty. We cannot allow them to disrupt the meeting. Go to Regulus 4 and meet with the local... and meet the lo make sure that the location is safe. Oh god, we heard that you are the closest <laughs> ships and we decided to... yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh crap, I declined it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'll do it. Accept the mission. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do a golf clap. <laughs> anyway. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. <coughs> Captain, sensors indicate several groups of Orion Syndicate ships patrolling near the communication satellite ahead of us. Continue. Why are you not in the same sector as me? Oh. I am Shit, trying to contact point. the surface. I think that the Orions are using the communication satellite in orbits to gain to boost their calm jamming. We're not getting through, sir. I recommend destroying the Orion ships in orbit here. That should open up the communication to the planet, defeat all Orion ships, and open the communication to Regulus 4. Okay, I'm gonna leave, eventually, and re enter the system. Okay. Alright, people. We need to walk away and then walk back in again. <laughs> it seems that we've entered another reality. Begin with Kovamar. Ah, there. Hi. Hey, <laughs> Wrong system. Join us. <laughs> ah, anyway. Time to kill these people. Da da da. Okay. Left first. Mhm. Mm oh right. Uh, go for the last one first. Okay. <laughs> Both hit different targets. <laughs> you said left. Oh, I thought you meant. The left group of. Oh, oh. <laughs> I meant the left group of people. <laughs> mm. oh. I'll oh, switch target. Uh. Uh. Tractor beams. Uh. I can't wait till I'm in the science lesson on that polarized hole. May not be a good idea for me to be right up its arse. <laughs> I'm trying not to be on its nose, but it's difficult. <laughs> oh, your tanking's um, instincts. <laughs> oh no, I just can't run away fast enough. My engine's oh. not powerful enough. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like your tanking instincts kicking in. No. I must tank. <laughs> I just couldn't run away. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, such a good opportunity to fire weapons, but. Yeah. I was reloading, damn it. That should be it. Bye bye? No. Okay. Yeah, this is a cruiser. Bye bye? Uh, I said, I said, I said, I said. No? Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. Or just phaser him to death. Because <laughs> I can't turn in time. Damn it. Wouldn't it be better if this ship could actually turn for a damn? Oh crap, I didn't get to read what it said there. It said something about being paid handsomely to stop. Uh, Starfleet investigating the Klingons. Ah. Well, time to go for the Ryan Corvette. Okay, you're just... Yep. <laughs> Coasting <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess you're the tank. Ow. Going after the other Corvette. I'll target a different one. Should be that one down. Yep, there we go. Oh, 
That should be you, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And, oh, almost. There we go. Yeah. Take oh, combat impulse engines! Yeah. Yay! Field stabilizing singularity core. What the hell? I'm not wrong yet. <laughs> I swear, Federation people only get singularity cores in their drops. Yeah, it's it's a bit irksome. Ooh, but this isn't. I have combat engines now. <sighs> well, I suppose you're a tactical guy. You need them more than I do. Mm. Don't why? Got, I've suddenly got a phaser on my action bar. <laughs> Did you change your thingy? Phaser? Um, I've changed. Oh well, maybe yeah. Because it seems to like to do that when you change a phaser. It's like, hey, you got a new phaser? You want that on your bar, right? Right. It's not like you got a hawk here or anything. Oh god. Kill it! Kill the corvette! Okay, the corvette is dead. I kill this thing! Come on. Come on. There we go. Dead? No. Oh. So close. <laughs> Let bleed through damage to it. Yeah. There, there we go. go. Ooh! Ooh! Drill heavy phaser cannons. Yes! Oh, nice. Uh, anyway, Captain. I have made contact with Lieutenant Meryl Paris on the surface. She is a staff lit liaison for the peace uh, conference. Oh, she done fucked up? <laughs> Lieutenant Scythia Boreas, this is Lieutenant Meryl Paris requesting immediate assistance. The Klingons and Orions have beamed in and taken hostages. We're ready to beam down, give me a stiff support. I only barely escaped. Uh, uh, <laughs> I only barely escaped myself. Beam down to my coordinates, this area should be safe. For now. <laughs> Captain, I have made contact with Lieutenant Meryl Paris on the surface. She's. What? 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 Some, remember, <laughs> sometimes it likes to give us the double whammy. Ah. Arg! Oh wait, no! We needed a science officer. No, firepower! Firepower shall prevail. <laughs> Look, that's the tactical way. <laughs> Hello there! Don't mind my massive battleth. I know you don't like bat. No, it's not you that doesn't like battleth. It's Dingy uh, metal. Battle from your back, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, anyway. I'm ready to assist you, Lieutenant. What is the situation, Lieutenant? The <laughs> what? General Lieutenant, Griggs. you are here just in time. A group of uh, Klingon operatives is attempting to sabotage the peace conference. They're planting explosive charges throughout the grounds, and they are have the Orion Syndicate forces as backup. There are Federation security forces here. On regulars four, but they are outnumbered and outgunned. Speaking of guns, we need to get the ambassador to safety. Anyway, um, we cannot free the diplomatic team from the embassy until the grounds are secure. Stopping the Klingons and deactivating those explosives are our top priority. Only then can we get to the embassy. Continue. I am ready to assist right. you. Oh. God damn it! <laughs> We've heard this! Exit. Why well, it's not giving me the. Well. Huh? Whatever. I'm not gonna complain, but it's not giving me the double. It's because you're normally the one to end it. Is that huh. <laughs> I love my weapon when it kills someone instantly. <laughs> How did that not kill him? Oh, I don't know. Are you still fighting him? Oh, you've moved on. <laughs> I, ju I just started running and gunning. Fair enough. Oops, that's a security officer. Oh god! Ow! Why did I do that? Don't die! <laughs> oh. 
disarm special charge. Because I'm an engineer. Hmm. Yeah, you won't be able to play through these, but I can stop them from going off. Mm. Yeah. I just oh. went and greedy that. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> I'm getting a rapid drop in frames in this area. Yeah, so am I. I don't know why. Mm. Oh well. Must get to it! Must get to it! Oh, no! You want to cut the there. wires? <laughs> oh god, which one? Um, green? Okay. Orange? Uh, I, uh, I'm running away from that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Green. Um, red. You're just cutting all the wires. <laughs> That's cheating. Green. Red. Cut the green and red wires. I did that. Green? Red? Green? Red? Disarm? Green? Red? Green? Red? Disarm? What? What? Let me do it. I had to do it like three times. Disarm special charge. There we go. <coughs> I got like green? Red? <laughs> green? Red? I'm like, what? Hmm. See, this is why I defuse the spatial charges and why you place them. <laughs> oh, fine then. Oh. So you steal my job. <laughs> Aha! You want honorable conflict! Ah. Ah. <laughs> there. Disarm the spatial charge. Can you, do you just go disarm the spatial tar charge without it going green? Yep. Red? I, I press green. the button and he does it all. <laughs> For me, it goes green? Red? Green? Oh. Wow. I <laughs> like how all of uh, the interactions you've had have basically involved a mini game of some kind. <laughs> Da, da, da. There we go. Um, where, where am I going? Why did we do that? I don't know. Uh, they were just uh, <laughs> innocent bystanders. We just massacred them. <laughs> murder. That's why. We did it for murder. Not murder, but murder. Murder. <laughs> you have to think that one shot them because you know they're shooting them from behind with a massive energy explosion. Take eight uh, items, I guess. I could start cutting wires again, but no, I'll just leave that to you. <laughs> wow, he really changed this. Did he? Yeah, I never had to have that mini game before. It was just click, go up to it, and disarm the special charge. Kind of like what I'm doing now, except I'm not. Where are you going? I don't know, I thought we were meant to go down there again. Oh crap, I just kind of... I'm gonna actually properly talk to her. Anyway, Lieutenant, my tricorder shows no spatial charges in the surrounding area. I'll stay here and help with the relief efforts. What's next? Just before you beam down, the leader of the Klingons, Captain Taka, entered the embassy and took his Federation diplomatic team hostage. He says that he'll be wa waiting for a worthy adversary. Think you're up to the task, Lieutenant Scythia Boris? <laughs> what is he, a freaking gym leader? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway. I'm working, standing in there with a bunch of hostages waiting for, waiting for a worthy challenge. <laughs> Eventually, someone's not going to care about the hostages and just going to bomb them from <laughs> orbit. Oh, except the transfer. Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, then, huh? Sir, ship scanners indicate four Federation diplomats inside. They appear to be guarding a number of... Wait, guarded by a numerous amount of Klingons. <laughs> They're guarding a numerous amount of Klingons. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, continue. I recommend you defeat all Klingon guards near the diplomats before beaming up to avoid any unfortunate dis d uh, transporter mishaps. We wouldn't want to rescue a Klingon by mistake. 
<laughs> uh, I think you would be able to side. tell. I think you would be able to tell where all the around the buffer if they were playing on are human. But hey, that's just me. I mean, I've, I've seen the doctor. He's managed to extrapolate logs of. Oh god, I'm dying. Don't die. Oh no, sorry. I am being knocked unconscious. <laughs> Oh. Oh, this way. This place also seems different, more fleshed out. Don't yeah. know if it's just because I haven't done it in a while or they've actually changed it. I think they've actually changed it. Yeah, I don't remember this at all, to be honest. Definitely looks a lot more like an embassy. Yeah, I don't actually even remember the original one, but I don't remember this. Like, in particular. Klingon octopus. I've already got one. I'll greet it. Oh god, Klingon octopus. I passed. I've already had one. <laughs> yeah. Is that any good? Does no. it taste well? No? Ah. It tastes about as good as you'd think it would. Uh, apparently octopus does taste good though. A Klingon octopus? I don't know about that. Is that like an octopus that's really vicious and has teeth instead of suckers? And bites you? Hmm, I don't know Ow! exactly how this stun is meant to work. It kind of seems to stun them for a little bit. Maybe damage? No, I'd have to reread what I've been told. Oh, I healed 1,500 damage on captains. Go me? I guess? How did I heal damage? Um, mm hmm. <laughs> Was it for yourself? I don't know, maybe. I think you have to get it on an expose, which means you have to get it from the flank. Hmm. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do. Oh. Oops. Let's show the item. Tactical kit? Yeah, not mine. Wait, oh, what? Hyper. A tactical kit weapon? A tactical kit, so like, a kit for you. For a weapon? Uh, no, your kit. I know, I'm, I'm lost. It says tactical kit weapon, and I'm like, alright. I'll, I'll take it. I'll figure out what happens later, but still. Good to see you're on patrol. For some reason, that <laughs> reminded me of Police Academy Citizens on Patrol. What? Oh, I need to watch that. I don't think I've watched that in a while. Oh, I think it's, I think it's my favourite of Police Academies. I think it's number three. We're missing a diplomat. Oh right, in the big room in the centre. Yeah, you we we were to get that last. That's why we got it last. For reasons. It's probably got that person who thinks he's a badass. Yeah. Oh look, I'm a badass. I'm gonna wait for a worthy opponent. Yeah. That or your death from someone who's actually intelligent. I mean. <clears throat> Ah, oh, master. Ah, oh, master. You're not Klingon! Oh, damn it! <laughs> he saw through my <laughs> tactics. There we go. Haha, <laughs> I vaporized him. <laughs> I also stabbed him, but whatever. Oh. Uh. More plasma weapon. Anyway. Ah, I'm stuck between two chairs. <laughs> Help! <gasps> oh wait, there's a thing here. I can tell because it's sparkly. <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot the scene. <laughs> okay. Um. One second. Ah, woo. Let's get the tholian particles first, then I'll talk to her. There we go. Right. Anyway. Take. Ah, Captain, sensors indicate several Klingon ships in the area. There may also be additional ships cloaked in the area. This could lead to a full-scale invasion fleet, sir. Transporters are standing by for your command. Beam up! Let's Super go! Beam up, Ada! Incredibly, Oasis! Incredibly. Anyway, Captain Scythiopolis, Klingon ships are decloaked and locking weapons. 
are decloaking even. Well, like in the process of decloaking. All the way behind us. Yep. Down Klingons. Okay, we've taken different targets. Well, whatever. Mm, that's a lot of torpedoes. Mm -hmm. Uh, are you okay? I'm good. I'm fine. It's Body just the wave. Oh, this one almost died as well. Earth, cloak. <laughs> yeah. I've dealt 100,000 phaser damage. Nice. Kill the ones that are damaged. Like that one. And this one. And this one. So close. 11%, 5. Zero. He's dead. Alva Last one. Yeah. Oh, there they could I missed after firing torpedoes because I would have been able to shoot him. I missed tractor beams so I can keep someone in place. <laughs> anyway, let's end this. Yay! Today is a good day to die. Today! It's a good day to die. Oh, he's a long way away. We don't need to worry about him for a little bit. <laughs> oh, enemy. Oh, there's more enemies. Yep. Kill him! Raptor escort. Kill it! Murder it. Oh, Both and a, a, a Corotinga battle cruiser. It takes two to Corotinga. <laughs> <laughs> We're still on that, yes! <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah, that's probably like two or three days after the previous one. Yeah. <laughs> it's only been a couple of hours for us. Yeah. There we go. Oh god. Drain it, shields! Ow! My shields! Give me shields! I like shields, they're fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and tank better. Uh, Get that's a bit fine. closer. Maybe, no, it doesn't care about distance. Just. Uh, I'm fine. I still feel responsible as the um, tank of the group. Although I did take the brunt of it off the bat. In fact, I think yeah. all of them targeted me <laughs> and all fire torpedoes at me. Yeah. Oh crap, I didn't read that again. So, we've been held by the Klingon ship, transferring to main view screen now. Um, okay. You fight well, Lieutenant. Not as well as a Klingon. We have no equals in battle. Um. <clears throat> yes, about that. <laughs> I am Ambassador Cass of the Klingon Empire. I wish to meet with Vukuva Mark on Reg Regulus. However, another of my ambassadors, Bavat, leads a noble house that is the econ enemy of my family. <laughs> economy of my family? The colony Bavat of my family? Wait, what? Bavat has used this opportunity to plot my death. Interesting. He is behind the attack on your diplomats, and he will pay for his dishonorable treachery with blood. But that travels here from Kronos in his flagship. We'll, he will be here any second, Lieutenant, and we shall fight him together. Kapla! Kapla! Ah! Hello! Uh -huh. Oh, that's part of Frey's dead. My torpedoes hit him with the wrong arc. Ah. It's such a shame we're underneath him. No, wrong one. Don't fire upon that, please. There we go. Well, this was a short fight. Yep. <laughs> I don't think the Emerald's arrived yet. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, he's in the Neg. Oh no, he's got a Negvar accompanying him. Yeah, let's that, see. That's, that's quite a large ship. Yeah, let's target the Negvar. <laughs> yeah, let's let's get rid of that first. Uh, I would think be they're both in Negvars. The plane. Yeah, I uh, believe so. Looking at the silhouette. Yep. Be nice if we were on the same plane, though. Oh wow. Two Negvars against two Mirandas and a Katinga. <laughs> I don't think that would work, you bridge commander. Nope. The Negvars would murder us! Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, the Negvar is down. Well, a Negvar is down. Yep, now we just got the Admiral. Yep. There we go. That should be him pretty much dead, right? No. <laughs> He's doing that. Oh, I need warping. Oh, armor. right, claw armor. You son of a gun! Oh no, he's not. He's talking to us? Is he? He will be. There we go. It seems you have won, Miss Time, Lieutenant Dillett. But there will be no peace between the Klingon Empire and the Federation. So who is the real victor here? <laughs> Judging by PvP, you. Yeah. Our fight is just <laughs> beginning, Lieutenant. I look forward to our next meeting. Kapla? You're going through the planet! <laughs> <laughs> you dumb son of a gun! It appears that Pavat has fled into the planet. At least we are able to unravel his plot and save Lieutenant Paharis. She is apparently more important than the Klingon Empire and to the Klingon Empire than she realizes. Depart the system. This place. This just this place. This place? Hmm. That's all, just this place. Wait, how are we not having peace? I I'm lost. How well, they hmm? kind of kidnapped the diplomats and then started a firefight in the neutral territory. <laughs> yeah, but not only that, but that was an offshoot. You know? Yeah, but still, I'm pretty sure it will be spun, at least in the Klingon Empire, as uh, the Federation but took their chance to attack. Because, let us not forget, two Federation ships went in there, a bazillion <laughs> Klingon ships went in there, <laughs> two Federation ships survived. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious when you say it like that, it's like, what, do they just lower their shields or something? Anyway, no. <laughs> Lieutenant Paris is un uh, revealed by... The uh, Lieutenant Paris is reveled... Yeah, reveled. Reveled by some Klingons that I'm practically worshipped by others. Rivaled? Reviled. Reviled. Oh, dear. Is reviled by some Klingons and practically worshipped by others. It is a difficult situation, but she does the best that she can. I am glad you are here to help. Are there to help. Hooray! And a new walk call. Congratulations. Ah, nice. We're level 9. Anyway. Just one more step. Uh, oh. Uh, I guess we'll have to leave it there, though. So. Yep. Until next time, all the best. That. Uh, go away. Go away. I'll get you later. <laughs> anyway, until next time, all the best, and... Bye!